Hello guys and welcome to your third Blitz 3D tutorial in which we're going to be going over object properties, or simple object properties at least, uh, that pertain to almost every 3D object in Blitz 3D. So as you know we've already used one object property or the position of a sphere and we've modified it uh, accordingly using the position entity command or position object command because entity is synonymous to object. Alright and uh, yeah, so we've done that, and please note that I've also deleted most of the code from the last tutorial. I've just left the sphere code here. Uh, so what is another property of an object that we can modify, or property of the sphere that we can modify? Well, it turns out we can actually scale the sphere using a command uh, known as scale entity. So we just type that, type the name of the sphere, which is sphere, and then we type how much we want to scale it on each of the three axes. Here, uh, if we type 1 on each axis, axis uh, it's not going to change the sphere at all. If we type 0 0.5, it's going to scale it by 0 0.5 on every axis. And I think I'll just leave it at that for now, so yeah, that's, that's simple enough. Uh, there's also another property that we can change, or entity color. Or <laughs> the color of a sphere, or of the, of the color of the object. You know, object color. Uh, and we can do this simply by typing entity color, the name of our object, which in this case is a sphere, and then the RGB color values for this uh, sphere. And uh, I'm just gonna these these color values are in the format of RGB, meaning that this uh, is the degree of red you want in your uh, color. This is the degree of green, and this is the degree of blue. All these uh, degrees or units range from zero which means no none of this component uh, is is added to the color uh, to 255 meaning that all all of this all of the maximum amount of red is added to this component which is 255 it's the maximum so uh, yeah that's just so if, if I for example set the color of the sphere to be 255 comma 0 comma 0 it would be all red no green and no blue you can search up RGB color values on Google or something to actually get defined color values, RGB color values for your favorite colors, but I'm just going to leave it at red for now. And uh, notice that this text appears as yellow because I put a semicolon uh, before it, and this is how you actually comment in Blitz 3D. So I, I can I can put a semicolon, a semicolon uh, here, and write this as a comment, and that's actually ignored by the compiler when uh, it goes and looks for code. And these are usually useful to do something like, uh, I don't know, like outline a section like, you know, like so, create camera before the create camera function. Well, you know, you know what I'm, you know, what I'm getting at here. Uh, well, I hope you do at least. <laughs> All right. So uh, if we run this program right now, we should see uh, our sphere scaled uh, by 0.5 on every axis, and it should be colored. Uh, red should have a red color and bam nice little red colored sphere and if we actually uh, cut this right now con control X uh, and run it we'll see how our sphere looked before and how it looks after bam beauteous alright there's uh, one more object property I want to teach you guys and that would be entity alpha and entity alpha simply uh, lets you specify if you want your sphere or your any object to be transparent and all you do is write entity alpha type entity alpha uh, sphere and then your alpha value which can be 0 0.5 meaning it shows it um, at half half visibility 0 0.1 a tenth of its original visibility or 1 meaning uh, you want it opaque or completely visible I'm just gonna put 0 0.5 here and you probably see something like a light lightly colored red sphere right now and and to actually display how it's how it's you know transparent right now, I'm actually going to go over to the camera and use a command known as CL camera CLS color, uh, and I'm going to type camera after that, and I'm going to type a certain color that I want uh, to be displayed. And all this really does is it means when what color do you, is it says what color do you want to clear the screen with? What what color do you want to clear the camera with? And we specify that color to be blue RGB. 0 on R, 0 on G, and maximum on B. So it's completely blue. And all this pretty much says is anything that is not already uh, taking up space in the view, say, you know, a sphere or any other object, it just wants to fill it with this color or this color blue. So it fills everything except the actual sphere. 
And here we are, we're getting this, you know, light, nice little 3D sphere. And as you can see, some of the blue pixels of the background, or not even the background of the, the camera CLS color uh, thing, they're shining through, and that's, that's a sign that our sphere is actually transparent. Uh, so, yeah, I believe that is all for this tutorial. All I wanted to teach uh, these three commands and this fourth one right here. Uh, you, so you can play around with those, see what you can do. You can definitely do some pretty cool stuff, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Have a nice day. Peace.